Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another campaign playthrough video, and we are continuing the Cyclopean Foundations campaign, which is a fan made campaign by The Beard uh, with Daryl Simmons, and we are up to the fourth scenario Crumbling Masonry. So, last time we got six experience into our deck, so first let's look at the upgrade side into the deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and the only upgrades I did to the deck were uh, adding two uh, level 3 uh, old key rings to the deck. Uh, the old key ring level 3 really combos well with Daryl's ability to drop the shroud value of locations with uh, the evidence on his uh, Kodak or other, other cards in play. And... Uh, to make room, I dropped one level zero key, old key ring and one research notes, as these are maybe the least needed um, evidence gathering cards in our deck, even though this combos well with uh, Dr. William T. Mailson. I decided to make room for the old key ring, as that is much more important uh, card in our deck. No other changes, so that was the 6 experience, so let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and we are set up here for the Crumbling Masonry scenario. We start at the Broad Street entrance, and um, a couple of things before we start. Um, I'll go through the introduction text, so be warned, there are story spoilers throughout, so if you care about some uh, about that sort of thing, then maybe uh, find a way to play this scenario before uh, continuing, but if not, then I'm starting now, so be warned. So, scenario 4, Crumbling Masonry. You slept the morning through to make up for the uh, eventful night, but even in daytime your dreams are plagued by monolithic visa, vistas and dissonant worlds that you cannot recognize. A vision fla flashes through your head of a hellish being with piercing eyes and your body jolts awake before you can fully observe the horror. Your heartbeat gradually slows and you wipe away cold sweat from your brow. Only action can stop this insidious madness. Your next destination is wherever Wycliffe's former associates may meet, but to know that you must know more about Wycliffe himself, as he only moved to Arkham recently. The city, archives and historical society are unlikely to have any information about his past, and his only mention in the papers comes from an expedition articles. You sit in silent thought as at the table until a ray of midday sun reflects up at you. Wycliffe's silver ring sits on the table where you left it this morning. You lift the ring and inspect it more closely, noting the occult symbols and the Latin inscription. The, Im the imagery on the ring begins to connect to Wycliffe's profession. Was he a Freemason? A Masonic Brotherhood? Uh, the Masonic Brotherhood are well known for the secrecy and pe penchant for symbolism. What's more, tall tales of the Freemasons ruling the world from behind the scenes have been told almost as long as the organization has existed. You try to wave away the superstition, but the pieces fit too well to fully discount. The enemy is well supplied, well prepared, widespread, secretive, and above all else, intelligent. Freemasons are all of these things and have the exact skill set required to shape the warp stone that you encountered several times last night. Certain as it may seem, a problem arises. If Wycliffe was a Freemason, he would have been so for most of his life, but, the only discovered, but he only discovered this plot some weeks ago. The entirety of the Freemasons can't be behind this conspiracy, but rather select members who have in will trade at their brotherhood. You rush through food 
and preparations, leaving for the Northside train station at once. Whitecliffe came from Pennsylvania, as the uh, paper stated, which happens to be the home of the oldest and largest Masonic order in the country. The conspirators will be at the Grand Lodge in Philadelphia, with the distance you have to cover. It is well after sunset when you arrive at West Phil Philadelphia station, from where it is only a short walk to the Masonic Temple. It looms above Broad Street like a Gothic cathedral, uh, but lights shine from inside. The very picture of tranquility to the outside world. The task of explo exposing the traitors will not be simple, especially as you are a complete outsider, but the stakes are paramount. These traitors hold all of the secrets of the conspiracy. Through them you may at last discover just why the distorting stone is so important and how they intend to use it. Okay, so uh, during setup we had to include uh, uh, the countermeasures card because we have eight or more um, notice. Then um, during setup we also had to pick three enemy traitors cars at random and set the others aside out of play. They correspond to these um, lodge members or these are the like um, Freemason members which are scattered throughout this complex or this uh, temple and uh, then we have uh, Luther Lynch in the Grand Staircase. We'll go into those a bit uh, more in depth later on. Then uh, it is important to note that the only locations we are allowed to move in, in Act 1 are these two locations. Others state that if it is Act 1, investigators cannot uh, enter this location. And uh, then we have uh, one encounter set, the uh, worshippers of Cthulhu or something uh, set aside out of play. And uh, we had to, we have this marked core, but there are three different copies, so we put the one corresponding to our notice points in play. Okay, well, uh, I think that's everything about the setup and the uh, um, scenario. So the last thing I have to do is read the agenda and the act card. So, cracks in the keystone. Even knowing the evil that lurks within the Grand Lodge, there is a foreboding atmosphere for the moment you approach the doors. Something more arcane than hitmen and cover-ups is lurking inside force. When a traitor enemy would leave play without being defeated, move all doom off on that enemy to the current agenda. And uh, the threshold is five, the doom threshold. Act 1A, the Tyler of the Grand Lodge. An older man with a powerful frame stands just inside the entrance to the temple, glaring at you suspiciously. He holds a sword in front of him in a ceremonial fashion, but he looks like he wouldn't hesitate to use it. One way or another, you won't gain entry to the temple without dealing with him first. Objective, if you have taken a parlay action on Luther Lynch, advance. Objective, if Luther Lynch is defeated, advance. And Luther Lynch here so three fight uh, three health because we are playing solo and three evade humanoid freemason elite uh, alert and uh, there are two different parlay actions so spend one clue per investigator as a group parlay you show him evidence of the infiltration here here at the uh, grand lodge uh, or uh, action uh, in if your campbell if, if the investigators know the whole Full story, Pale, you explain the entire situation. Unfortunately, we don't know the full story, so we need that one clue to make the Pale action. But uh, that is everything, so I think we, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. Uh, we have a resign action here, so if any, everything goes south, we can just. Uh, get out but we'll see so let's draw our opening hand so one two three four five we get 
winging it. Hawkeye folding camera. We need UV shuffle that. Another Hawkeye. Mm. Double wielding Hawkeyes. Sounds like a good idea. Persuasion and resort. I think this is a good good starting hand, so not uh, mulliganing anything. Just uh, shuffle the weakness back into the deck. Okay, <clears throat> so I think the double action here is to play both of the Hawkeye for the cameras and the investigating. And uh, I will uh, investigate using the winging it. So we are investigating uh, 5 versus 2. Of course, auto fail. Well, it was good, too good to be true, <laughs> I think. Well, nothing else to do, so we'll go to upkeep, we draw or keyring. And gain a resource, so yeah, this was dumb. Uh, well, we'll see. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are a doom. Encounter card for this round is grotesque hallucinations, peril hidden, secretly at the card to your hand. Of course, if you you enter your uh, if you end your turn at a location with a shroud value of three or higher. Reveal grotesque hallucinations and discard a card from your hand at random. Action, choose a non-weakness card in your discard pile and remove it from the game. Discard grotesque hallucinations. We don't want to remove the wing it, so I think. Um, we will just investigate uh, 5 versus 3. Uh, we fail. We'll investigate again. Okay, I'm committing the keyring, so 7 versus 3. Plus 1. Well, of course. We get the clue. Uh, we also get 2 evidence in play. Now our willpower is pl pl uh, 4, so that's good. And uh, last action, we will uh, remove the old key ring from our discard from the game to get rid of this. That is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw deduction, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom and count the card is. Eldrick Geometer. Spawn any location, uh, any connecting location, empty if possible. Only connecting location is this one, so it's first there. So, uh, 3 fight, 2 health, 3 evade. While Eldrick Geometer is in play, reduce the modifier for, of each uh, cultist tablet or elder thin token by 1. Example minus 2 becomes minus 3. Okay, well. This guy is annoying to get at this point, but I think we will uh, uh, persuade him away. So I'm just marking that guy here. Okay. First action, uh, we will just move in. The grand staircase. So two shroud, zero clues. After you enter grand staircase, move to another copy of grand staircase. Limit one per turn, but we can't use that at the moment. Both of these enemies engage us. There are zero clues here. Shroud of two. So um, first off, we will persuade this guy to go away. 
we are testing uh, uh, five versus four. Six versus four. Skull is x, x is the high, uh, is equal to four minus the number of cards in the traitor deck. So it, uh, it is a minus one at the moment. So we pass, and this guy is shuffled into the encounter deck. I'm just hoping we won't draw him again in a, uh, immediately. We'll see if our luck holds out. Okay, uh, last action we will do the parlay at spend what blue to talk to this guy. So we spend one clue to group parlay. You show him evidence of the infiltration here at the Grand Lodge. So now uh, this guy hits us for one damage. Oh yeah. Um, Actually, he doesn't because we advanced before that. So, if you have taken a parlay action on Luther Lynch, advance into the Grand Lodge. If Luther Lynch is in the victory display, he is not. If, if the investigators parlay with Luther Lynch, something about the imposing man strikes you as being more principled than the assailants you encountered. You show the man that you mean to help the Masonic Order and quickly explain how. Uh, some of the threats that you seek to prevent. He looks back to the temple interior in thought before he slowly nods and stands to let you pass. It is my duty to defend the Grand Lodge from those who seek to do it harm, he finally utters. And though you are unin uninitiated, you will help me perform this duty if I allow you to pass. Disengage Luther Lynch and clip him. To his story asset side, shuffle the set aside cult of Cthulhu encounter set into the encounter deck. So this goes into the encounter deck and we flip this guy over. Okay, just look at him in a moment. Smoke them out. Uh, for the organization and the resources these conspirators have, one or more of the Brotherhood's officers must be the traitors. The six highest ranking members are present tonight performing various duties, which uh, gives you a chance to catch them here and now. Action spend three clues as a group, draw the top card of the traitor deck and put it into play at the location of the story asset with the same name. Flip that story asset and resolve the text on the other side. Objective if a traitor enemy leaves played, you must immediately advance. Okay. <coughs> So, just checking, did we need to shuffle the encounter discard piles? No. So, we shuffle this set here, and we uh, can watch the Luther Lynch. So, uh, in defense of the order, uh, ally, Freemason, Warden, 3, Health, 3, Sanity. Uh, Luther Lynch may be assigned damage and horror dealt to any investigator at his location. Uh, fa uh, fast trigger ability at the start of the enemy phase. Move Luther Lynch to any investigator's location. Investigators at any location may activate this ability. And this guy is at this location at the moment. I'm just actually marking him down because he's taking so much room. Okay, so he's here. And uh, that is our whole turn. No enemies left. Uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw Dr. William T. Nelson and gain a resource. So that's huge. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. Three of five. Uh, Encounter card for this round is Cornered Rat. Revelation. Attach Cornered Rat to a cultist enemy in play. If there are no cultist enemies in play, without a copy of Cornered Rat, attach Cornered Rat gets search. So this searches. Okay. 
these are not contests, okay? And we get sleeper agents. Spawn any connecting location, empty if possible. Hunter. After sleeper agent enters a location, each investigator at that location chooses and discards a card from his or her hand. So I'm spawning this guy uh, right here at the entry. So we can run away from him. And there's like we can loop around if needed be. But that's the uh, enemy step. So I think first we will play Dr. William T. Nielsen. We will move to. Um, we could go the, to upstairs, but uh, we could uh, get stuck there. So I'm thinking of going this uh, downstairs first. So we'll go to the temple offices. Okay. So uh, these have text. So Rodney Duval, Junior Grand Warden. Investigators cannot move from Rodney Duval's location on the same turn that they enter with it. So we can't leave here this round, which is no problem. Temple offices, we can move here. Uh, it is not act one. So three is route, two clues. Investigators at temple offices cannot play cards during the enemy phase or mythos phase. That doesn't matter at the moment. So we'll put this guy into play here. There are two clues here. And um, uh, we have a deduction in hand, which is great. Oh yeah, and I have been forgetting to put these play with the Kodak. So I'll put one now. And yeah, um, last action, we will inspect, um, investigate this location using the deduction. So I am six versus three. Minus one, we grab these both clues, which is great. And Enemy face, this enemy hunts over here. Upkeep. We, oh yeah, uh, we got uh, evidence here, so now we have an intellect of seven, which is great. So we get uh, fine clothes and gain a resource. So that's perfect. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Four of five encounter card for this round is. Eldritch Geometer, uh, spawn, any uh, connecting location, empty if possible. So while Eldritch Geometer is in play, reduce the modifier for each. Call this uh, tablet an Eldritch token by one. So, um, any connecting location, empty if possible. None of these are empty because there are story assets, so I'm just putting this guy here. Oh yeah, and um, we could have moved this guy over here, but we didn't. We didn't need to. So I'm just marking this guy. Unfortunately, we are drawing too many enemies at the moment, but it is what it is. So first action, I'll play the fine clothes. Second action, we can move now. So I'll move here, Masonic Library and Museum. Uh, shroud is X and two clues. Masonic Library and Museum Shroud is equal to X. X is the cost of the topmost card of your discard pile, which is zero. If the topmost card of your discard pile has no cost or is zero, X is equal to three. So it is three now. There are two clues here and a victory one. And we have uh, Wallace Torp. So Wallace Torp's location gets plus one shroud, which is not a problem because we have plenty of... Oh yeah, and I uh, forgot to put the evidence on this enemy again. Okay, well, I think we're just as our last action investigates, and uh, we have seven versus four. And it is a skull, so it is a minus one, so we pass, we get one clue, and enemy face, this enemy hunts over here, that guy doesn't have hunter, upkeep, we draw grizzled, gain a resource, and that is that round, let's go to the next round.
but we had a doom, so the agenda advances. Spatial steering. If there are three cards in the traitor deck, a vibration ripples through the air. No physical harming you. Not physically harming you, but changing the atmosphere every ever so slightly. Without your interference, this like will likely be the mere beginning of something far worse. Move this card next to the agenda deck. While it is next to the agenda deck, it gets fourth. When an investigator would discard any number of cards from his or her deck, that investigator discards one additional card. Otherwise, with the exposures already beginning, there, okay, so we don't have to read that. So, unfortunately, we didn't get anyone from here. Oh yeah, we could have done that last round. Well, we didn't. Schism in, uh, schism in secret. Even though a war is commercing in the very halls of the Grand Lodge, the Freemasons are still uncooperative and suspicious of you. It is because of their appearance of tradition, or are they attempting to hide their own betrayals? Both when a traitor enemy would leave play without being defeated, move all doom of that enemy to the current agenda. Okay, well, uh, we get an encounter card. Wolves among sheep. So, revelation test, willpower 3. This test gets plus 1 difficulty for each traitor enemy played. If there is a traitor enemy at your location, read each cultist and elder thin token revealed during this test as an auto fail instead. If you fail, take one horror. If you fail by two or more, place one room on the furthest enemy from your location. Well, um, it's a scheme and tactic, so brittle doesn't trigger, but we have a willpower of Four against three, so I'm just testing this. Uh, minus two, so we fail, so we take one more, and uh, I'll just take it. Not bad, that bad. Okay, so that was the mythos phase, uh, investigation phase. I think we will just investigate. Seven versus four. Seven versus four. Is uh, this is still a minus three? So we succeed. We'll grab this clue. Uh, we get evidence onto our cameras. So now we have also plus two sanity. So we have a ten of sanity, which is great. We can take horror for days. Now, I think before we do anything else, we will reveal. So, we spend three clues as a group, draw the top card of the traitor deck, and put it into play at the location of the story asset with the same name. Flip that story asset and resolve the text on the other side. Objective if a traitor enemy leaves play, he must immediately advance. Okay, so we will flip the first of these. It is Hector Sutton. Uh, so, Hector Sutton is a uh, humanoid conspirator, orchestrator, elite hunter, aloof. Hector Sutton's location and its connecting location gets non Euclidean. Look at the top card of your deck. If it's not a weakness, remove it from the game. We remove this guy and have to read the text on the back side. The traitorous deputy master. Hector Sutton's eyes scan around you as if focusing on something that did not exist in this reality. He cracks his cane on the nearby pillar and the world seems to fall together at that point. Shortening space, your brain rejects what it sees, but the man is ready to slow you down personally. Move this card next to the agenda deck, forced at the end of the round, place one resource on this card from the, uh, from the token bank. If there are two resources of this card, remove Hector Sutton and this card from the game. Okay, well, we'll place it here. So, at the end of the round, place one resource on this card of the token bank. If there are two, okay. Yeah, the problem with us is that we are really bad at defeating these guys by fighting. So, okay, well, last action is to move to this guy's location. 
So Oriental Hall is a five shard location with two clues. While you are investigating Oriental Hall for the purpose of drafting icons committed to the skill test, uh, agility icons count as matching icons and uh, uh, intellect icons count as two matching icons. So it is a victory point one location. So is this one. Okay, so this guy is over here, aloof, doesn't uh, stop us from investigating. So I'm thinking of just uh, uncovering all of these and not bothering to fight them, possible. But we left a non-Euclidean location because this guy makes everything non-Euclidean. So we have to discard, uh, look at the top card of our deck, if it's not a weakness, remove that card from the game. So we remove sharp vision from the game and uh, just checking while in the when an investigator would discard any number of cards from the side deck that would be okay so it's not discarding it's removing so we don't trigger that okay well last action we will investigate this location we are investigating seven verse five Uh, Skull is a minus two, so we succeed just enough. Okay, so enemy face, this guy hunts over here. Upkeep, we draw occult invocation. We could actually now defeat this guy with it and gain a resource. So that's good. And we have to put a resource onto this card. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we add a Doom, one of five, and counter card for this round is, oh yeah, I think, um, something said that, oh yeah, uh, if the traitor enemy is play, so we have to add that. Okay, so we add one, uh, we get, get an encounter card, which is dimensional pole test agility X, where X is the shroud value of your location. If you fail, take one damage and discard the top three cards of your deck. If you fail but two or more, draw each weakness discarded. Uh, we are not committing anything, even though we have the Grizzle in hand. Because we need the Grizzle for the Occult Invocation to defeat the Hector Sutton this round. So we are just testing uh, five, uh, three versus five. So we probably will fail. Well, it's an Elder Sign. Uh, plus one, place one evidence on an asset you control. So I'm placing it onto Daryl's Kodak. But uh, we still fail, so we take one damage. But we don't fail by... Oh yeah, we discard four cards. So one, two, three, four. But... Uh, and fourth was because of that card, but that is everything, so uh, first action, we will engage Hector Sutton, second action, we will occult invocation him and discard result. Uh, we are hitting 7, 8 versus 3, and it is a tablet uh, so it becomes minus three because of this guy. But still, we succeed. We defeat this guy. It goes in the victory display. And uh, we advance. If a traitor enemy leaves play, you must immediately advance. One down. If the act advanced because a traitor enemy was defeated, the man collapses down, but one last expression of accomplishment lingers on his face before he expires. These traitors are frantically devoted to their cause, to the point where death means nothing to them. Worse yet, the temple is still rife with saboteurs, which can only mean that there is at least one more traitor commanding them. If you, in your Kambalok, under cultist killed, record the name of the enemy that was defeated, remove the corresponding story card from the game. So, this is removed from the game, and we record that Hector Sutton is killed. Then, uh, next in line, one traitor was surfaced, but two 
but how many more remain? So again, three, spend three clues as a group, draw the top card of the traitor deck and put it into play at the location of the story asset with the same name. Flip that story asset and resolve the text on this, the other side objective. If a traitor enemy leaves play, you must immediately advance. So now we have a problem. Um, this guy will hunt to us uh, no matter what we do, because this is connected also to here. So I think we just want to get another clue and get more evidence onto here. So last action, we will just investigate uh, 7 versus 5, hoping to get this clue. So minus 2, so we grab this clue, we get more evidence onto the, this one. Okay, I'm using these keys as evidence, so... I have misplaced one of my... Well, no matter. So we have plenty of evidence. Now we can start spending that also. So, enemy face. This guy hunts over here. Just move him over here to this side. And hits us for two damage. Which is not nice, but nothing we can do. So, upkeep, we draw deduction, which is good, and gain a resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Yeah, and add another Doom encounter card for this round is uh, Lucid Worshipper. So, an enemy. Uh, Hunter, Humanoid Cultist, so. 3 fight, 3 health, 3 evade, forced when you are engaged with Lucid Burster and any amount of non-weakness cards enter your discard pile, remove one of those cards from the game. Okay, so forced after Lucid Burster attacks you, discard from card of your deck. So we need to get rid of this guy, or at least uh, evade and run away. So we have two enemies engaged with us, which is not nice. So first thing first, uh, we will reveal another guy from here. And it is Rodney Duval. And Rodney Duval is in the temple offices, so we remove that. So Rodney Duval is a humanoid conspirator, cultist, traitor, elite, force, a hunter, retaliate. Force after Rodney Duval attacks, even if if, if that attack was cancelled, Rodney Duval disengages and moves to a connecting location, empty if possible. Okay, this guy is annoying to deal with. Uh, the traitor's junior warden. Rodney Duval's posture loosens, but his sharp eyes stay fixed upon you. A glint of malice begins to rise behind them. His slight smile remains, but he says nothing as he takes a handgun from his coat pocket. He is ready, eager even, to end this de deception and resume his duty of wholesale murder. Move this card next to the agenda deck. Forced. At the end of the round, place one resource on this card for, from the token pack. If there are two resources on this card, remove Rodney Duval and this card from the game. So I'm thinking we are not going to defeat this guy anytime soon. And. Unfortunately, this guy will move in, hit us, and move out if we evade these two and not and leave to another location. But I think we could. Well, uh, first thing first, we need to. Uh, evade one of these guys. So I'm evading uh, this guy this guy first, so we get the minus two to the test, so three versus one. Minus one, so uh, this enemy is evaded. Then uh, we will evade this guy. And I'm spending another clue, so we are evading Uh, 3 versus 0. Auto fail, of course. Well, uh, we just evade again. 
previous job. Another auto fail. Well, that sucks. Enemy face. Uh, I'll move this guy just over here. And at the start of the enemy phase, move Luther Lynch at any investigator's location. I'll move this guy over here so he can tank some damage. So this guy hits for 2 damage, so we put this hit on him. And uh, that is that, so and, uh, upkeep this guy ready, engages us again. And uh, redraw, find clothes. And gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, encounter card is marked, priority threat, scheme terror, very hidden. Uh, revelation secretly at this card into your hand. Pause. When you enter a cultist enemy's location or vice versa, remove mark priority uh, threat and place one doom on that enemy. Tri triple action discard mark priority priority threat from the game or to the discard. Okay, well, um, this round I think we need to just evade, evade, and run away. So, evading. This guy, 3 vs 1, uh, we'll go 4 vs 1. Plus 1. Uh, we will go... Three versus zero. Uh, skull, it is a minus two, uh, minus three, but we still succeed, so this guy is evaded. And uh, we'll move over to here. Grand Banqueting Hall. So it is a two shroud location with one crew, non Euclidean. Move an unengaged non elite enemy once to watch you. If an enemy engages you before completing the movement, it does not attack. Okay. And we have Ulysses Hill, Grandmaster. Pause. When Ulysses Hill location is revealed, place an additional clue on that location from the token bank. Well, that doesn't uh, suck, because we need a couple of more clues still. So this guy is just hanging around here. I'll put him underneath here, because he doesn't affect uh, the location at all anymore. At the moment. Okay, so enemy face, this guy hunts over here, hits us for one damage. Uh, we'll move this guy to our location, so I'll tank the horror here, I'll take one damage here, one damage here, then we'll move this guy over here, because we are running away from these enemies, and uh, okay, so this didn't trigger, okay, so that was enemy phase, we'll go to upkeep, we add, actually, this was the second time we added, uh, last turn we added one, now we added one, at the end of the round, place one resource, okay, so, I think this guy is, okay, so, uh, we just placed the second one here, so this is removed from the game, and uh, when, if traitor enemy leaves play, you must immediately advance. So, second strike. Uh, you can't pin the second traitor down in time before he disappears in what can only be described as a crack in space. Call this follower still rally inside the temple, which can only mean that there is another rat to sniff out. In your camp log under Cultist Alive, record the name of the enemy that left play. So, Rodney Duval is still alive. Third degree. Just how many of the 
Freemasons elite have been chipping away at this foundation the whole time. Action spent uh, three clues as a group draw the top card of the traitor deck and put it into play at the location of the story asset with the same name. Flip that story asset and resolve the text on the other side. Objective with the traitor enemy in each play, you must immediately advance. So we still need to find one more cultist and we need three clues for that. But um, that was that round. Oh yeah, we drew a card at the upkeep, so we get Day of Reckoning. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's connected to the current agenda, not the act, so it didn't matter. So I'm just um, attaching the elder sign on it. I can again find it here. It is. So elder sign not in play for a couple of turns now, and we gain the resource. So. That is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, Encounter card is Grotesque Hallucinations, Peril Hidden, secretly add this card into your hand. Okay, so again, if we enter our or end our turn in at a location 3 or more Shroud, uh, we have to discard a random card from our hand. And uh, we can action uh, Remove a card from our discard to get rid of this. Okay, so first action we will play deduction here and investigate. Investigating uh, 7 8 versus 2. Minus 4. We succeed, so we get both of these clues. We'll do a action to move. Oh yeah, we get evidence onto the Hawkeye holding cameras. We'll move uh, to, to here. So move an unengaged non-elite enemy once towards you. If an enemy engages you before completing the movement, it does not attack. So this moves to us, engages us, this guy, then we complete the move, so... Uh, now we need to evade this guy. Uh, I am evading, oh yeah, hit this trigger, so this is a this when you enter a cultist enemy's location or vice versa, reveal. Okay, so this guy gets one doom on it. Then we try to evade it, so it is. I'll spend one evidence from here. Uh, we are evading three versus one. Skull and it is unfortunately minus three, so we fail. So enemy face, this guy hits us for one damage and one horror. Upkeep. Oh yeah, this this boat hunt over here. Uh, we'll move this guy and take the horror on this guy. Okay, and upkeep we draw. Burning the midnight oil and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom so the agenda advances. And this goes back into the chaos pack. This goes away. Profane prayers. Uh, if there are two or more cards in the traitor deck, otherwise, uh, with more of the officers unmasked as infiltrators, you have inspired hesitation in the enemy. Whatever immortal force they serve, they are still mortal servants, and their dark work cannot be uh, completed if you dispatch them all here and now. Okay. Uh, rapid erosion. While many of the infiltrators attack you outright, the 
important members are finishing their preparations to date you. If you don't finish unmasking these traitors soon, they will escape and leave little for you, uh, little for you to trace them. Pause. When a traitor enemy would leave play without being defeated, move all doom on that enemy to the current agenda. Okay, well, uh, we get an encounter card. It is another enemy, delusional dreamer. So hunter spawn enemy engage with prey. Uh, Investigators with the most encounter cards in his or deck is the prey. Forced after a delusion dreamer engages you, take one damage or one horror for each encounter card in your hand. We have two encounter cards in our hand, which is bad. So we take two horror because we have plenty of horror soak left. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I have put this here, not on to Dr. William T. Nelson. So I'm actually, I'll take one. Yeah, well, we have the fine clothes still in play, but um, we are pretty near getting defeated now. But uh, first action, we will spend one evidence and evade. Uh, this, uh, who is it? This uh, Eldrix Geometer. So we are 3 versus 1. Plus 1. That guy is evaded. We will evade this guy and spend 1 evidence. So we are 3 versus 1 again. I'm actually going 4 versus 1. Uh, minus two, we succeed, so this guy is evaded. And last action, we will move to Grand Staircase. After you enter Grand Staircase, move to any uh, another copy of Grand Staircase, limit once per turn, so... Yeah, enemy face will move this guy over here. This hunt here. Upkeep, we draw Idol of Xanathos. Oh, yeah, these are Shroud 2 locations, so this hasn't triggered. And we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this round is. Wolves among sheep. Test willpower 3. This test gets plus 1 difficulty for each traitor enemy in play. Uh, no traitor enemies in play, I think. No. So it is uh, 4 versus 3. It is a minus 3 v fail and... Okay, if you fail, take one horror. If you fail by two or more, place one doom on the furthest enemy from your location. Furthest enemy from our location is one of these guys, so I'll place it on this one. And uh, we take one horror. Uh, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, First action, we'll move to Renaissance Hall. Five Shroud, two clues. While you are investigating Renaissance Hall for the purpose of counting icons, committing to this skill test, uh, willpower icons count as matching icons, and uh, intellect icons count as the two matching icons. I think we are just... Uh, Getting rid of this one, and we remove. Uh, choose a non-weakness card in your discard, so we remove this from the game, and we'll investigate, and we commit the idol of Xanathos. So we are six, seven, uh, 
8 versus 5, so 3 up, minus 2, we get 1 clue. And uh, next round we can, no, we'll immediately reveal the last enemy. And it is Ulysses Hill, so it is back here. So, uh, Ulysses Hill is a humanoid conspirator, cultist, traitor, elite, aloof, and three fight, two health, three evade, force. When any amount of doom is placed on another enemy in play, either place one doom on a Ulysses Hill, or he readies and attacks each investigator at hit a location. Well, uh, I think we don't have time to go defeat this guy. We'll read the uh, story text. Uh, the traitorous master, Ulysses Hill, stands proudly as cult agitators around the building all call to him to lead them in prayer. The man obliges at once, shutting his eyes and mouth mouthing cold words which you know in your heart to be profane. This fanatism fuels your enemies and drives them to horrors you can only guess at all. I move this card next to the agenda deck force. At the end of the round, place one uh, resources on this card from the token pack. If there are two resources on this card, remove real uses. Heal and discard from the game. Oh yeah, this should have been removed. So, uh, now we have all the cultist guys revealed, but I think we're just uh, waiting for the time uh, so that this guy escapes and we'll try to get as many victory points from these locations by clearing them. So enemy phase, um, well uh, this guy doesn't have hunter, this has hunter, this has hunter and uh, this has hunter. So three enemies are pursuing us up the stairs, which is not very pleasant, but it is what it is. Okay, and uh, that was the enemy phase. We'll move this guy again to our location, just in case. Upkeep. We draw ruined film. Oh dear. Okay, well, uh, we have to remove these. So we don't take any horror. And we gain a resource. So that was that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is Insular Suspect. Revelation put Insular Suspect in play next to the agenda deck. As an additional cost to investigate play, a card discovers clues or activates an ability or effect that discovers clues. Spend one resource. Action. If there is a Freemason story asset at your location, parlay, test, uh, intellect or willpower 3 if you succeed, discard insular suspect. Okay, well, it gets... So this guy also has an evidence on it. This gets evidence on it. Well, um, we are parlaying, so I'm just first action parlaying here. And I think we will die. Oh yeah, at the end of the round this gets... So do we have any way to take all of this damage that is coming? So one damage, three damage, and two horror. So the horror is fine, but the damage will defeat us. No, we have fine clothes. So one, two, three, and the horror. Okay, well, we'll try to, try to parlay this away. Uh, minus three, and we are parlaying five versus one. Because we have fine clothes, so we succeed. So this is removed. Then uh, we can uh, try to get a card to help us investigate. Track choose. 
Hmm. That is not helpful. Okay, well, um, let's try and investigate here. Okay, so we are investigating five versus five. Minus three, we fail. So, no. Uh, we don't get this victory point. So, enemy phase. These enemies hunt over here, engage us, and hit us for. Uh, we'll first take the damage. So. I'll take one damage here. Oh uh, no, I'll take. Uh, yeah, so we get three damage and two horror. So we'll take one damage here, one damage here, one damage here, and the uh, horrors go away. So, so this is removed. This is removed, unfortunately. But we are still alive. This is removed. Okay. Upkeep. Withdraw. Inquiry mind and gain a resource. And at the end of the round, this gets a resource. Goes away. And we discard this one and we have to advance rule of three the third uh, traitor vanishes disappearing between rip ripples of air their mastery of the spatial warping power has proven to be an infiltrating obstacle uh, though you find yourself standing in the silent halls the cult has retreated but where to and for what purpose in your camp -alog, under cultist alive, record the name of the enemy that left play resolution 3. Okay, so we record that Ulysses Hill is alive and go to resolution 3. Resolution 3. Silence returns in the wake of the cultist retreat, but for the first time since your adventure started, you feel comforted by it. After the incidents last night, the conspirators are the ones on their back feet this time. There is still work to be done. You roam the now quiet halls of the Masonic Temple, locating and gathering the remaining Masons to hold a mass interview. Most of them are utterly bewildered, especially and at seeing their former colleagues side with the crazed cultist and wield such mind-bending power. You, your mind is focused more on the opportunity you now have. The cultists were forced to flee without covering their trail, meaning you have the chance to sift through the evidence without someone actively trying to kill you. In your camp lock, record the investigators expelled the traitors. Mark one notice in your camp lock for each name listed under the cultist killed. So we mark one notice. Then uh, mark one additional notice, so we mark two. Let's go to resolution four. If nothing else was clarified tonight, you finally have some insight into the agents and madmen who have shadowed your recent actions. They prey on the unsuspecting and those vulnerable to influence throughout strange streaming. But you can now take steps to guard yourself against their methods. They will find you more a thorn in their side than ever before. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory x value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator earns one bonus experience equal to lynch in the defense of the order was in play at the end of the scenario. Unfortunately, he died just at the end. If any investigator earned three or more experience during this scenario, mark one notice in your camp lock. If an investigator earned six or more experience during this scenario, mark one additional notice in your camp lock. So we got one, two, three victory points. So we mark uh, a third notice. So we get three notice and three victory points in this scenario. And uh, if the investigator failed to stop the traitor's plan, skip to scenario five across the dreadful waters. 
uh, otherwise proceed to interlude a house divided and I will go through the house divided in the next video the interlude so yeah uh, three experience and we are still alive we got one uh, cultist traitor defeat that two got away uh, not the ideal situation but it is what it is so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time